your tablet or Windows 10 computer has suddenly stopped automatically rotating the screen, or if you can't even manually rotate the screen. You may have an auto rotation problem. There are easy ways to fix this problem, which is known to affect a lot of Windows 10 devices. If you want to know how to fix your Windows 10 devices auto rotation problem, here are the solutions that you must try. If your tablet or laptop is giving you trouble, the first thing you need to do is restart it. If the bug was caused by a small problem with an app or the operating system, restarting the computer should help. When bugs are known or reported, Windows updates can sometimes fix them. Make sure that your device is running the latest version of Windows. Some Surface Pro users have trouble with the auto rotation feature, but unplugging their keyboard, mouse, or dock helps. If this device or any other Windows gadget you're using has removable parts, try unplugging them to see if that helps. Screen rotation can be turned on and off, so it's possible that you locked it by mistake. To check, do the following. Open Action Center by pressing Windows key plus A. Click the Expand button. Click the rotation lock to turn it off. Check if your device's orientation has changed. Keep in mind that some Windows devices, like the Surface Pro, will automatically lock screen rotation and turn off rotation lock when a detachable keyboard is attached or when the device is in typing position. Try folding the keyboard or taking it out of the device to see if this is the case. In some rare cases, the auto rotation button looks like it's not working even though it's on or off. If the auto rotation button on your device is grayed out, you can change the registry to get it back to how it should be. Make a copy of the registry before you change it. Just in case something goes wrong, this is how. From the start menu, in the search box, type rejected.exe and then press enter. If you are prompted for an administrator password or confirmation, type the password or provide confirmation. In registry editor, locate and click the registry key or subkey that you want to back up. Click file. Then, export. In the export registry file dialog box, select the location where you want to save the backup copy to, and then type a name for the backup file in the file name field. Click save. Once you've made a copy of the registry, you can edit it to fix the auto rotation button that is grayed out. In the registry, you need to edit these four. Enable Dwer, Last Orientation Dwer, Sensor Present Dwer, Slate Enable. These must be enabled. After that, restart your device and see if Auto Rotation button is now active. Some problems with auto rotation could be caused by bad firmware or drivers for the motion sensor. So be sure to try installing an update for this sensor. This option makes sense only for desktops or laptops. So if you have a tablet, you can just ignore it. Device Manager is the best place to go to install drivers. To do that, do the following. Click Start button. Search for Device Manager. Click the top result to open Device Manager. Expand the category with the hardware you want to update. In your situation, it should be under Sensor I.O. Devices or Sensors. Right-click the device and select Update Driver. Click the Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software option. If your machine detects that there's a newer driver version for the motion sensor, it will automatically download and install it. Depending on your internet connection speed, it may take several seconds or minutes. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.